In the following video, I want to demonstrate how we can utilize a Dynamo script to aggregate the area of field regions in a detailed item schedule. We all know that the area reported by field regions cannot be added into a schedule because it's not a parameter available in the options for creating a schedule. So on the left, I have a series of field regions and this could be used for co computating uh, for finishes or landscape items or any type of materials. So when we create, uh, I'm going to add or edit an existing uh, boundary and I'm going to add additional boundary here on the right side. And uh, I'm going to jump into a Dynamo script, run. And now it has on the right the field regions get updated automatically. So let me walk you through the uh, process. So what this, uh, the way this uh, workflow was built is that we started by selecting all the detailed components from the current project and then we utilized a string, we convert the categories into strings to make sure that I only selected the field regions from all the subcategories of the detail items. This is what the filter by boolean mask enable me to do. Um, then I selected uh, the parameter of the area. This parameter is available via Dynamo. And you can see how Dynamo lists uh, the area of all the different uh, field regions. And then I copy the values of the area into a new uh, custom created parameter of the detail item category and add that parameter in the script. So the way this works is that Dynamo, what's basically doing, it's uh, transferring the data from one parameter into another parameter that is accessible via schedule. Uh, all right, uh, so when the data is transferred, all it does is to copy the same area reported by the area parameter into this share parameter. And this share parameter, in turn, can be uh, edited at the same time. So I hope you find this useful. I think this has a great potential for doing uh, detail-specific quantification and uh, it's uh, very easy to build.